Hello everyone. Today I wanted to talk about um, something that's a little bit more personal compared to just doing reviews of things and stuff. I was today going to talk instead about um, my experience and my um, my time in Reno, Nevada, living. Well, what was it like to live there? Well, what I can say is that I lived in a diff completely different place. Um, a democratic majority place of that I live now, California. You know, out here um, in California, we do get some um, Republican people, so right off the bat, difference in political views, right? Um, Nevada is different, and Reno is different than anything you'll ever experience in terms of living in. I say that because um, Reno is just one of those different places. People just think it's casinos or or maybe they think the minor league team there, but it's um it's very much it's very different from what you you would think it would be, um, like right off the bat, like in California or anywhere I know you you can't really bring in like stuff to the movie theaters, but like in Nevada they they don't care they don't check any of that. I mean if if you're a normal person in Reno they're just glad that you're not like you know. Uh, doing some crazy ass like shootings because there's quite a lot of shootings actually um, there and stuff like that not to say that that's the only thing there um, but the casinos are a huge portion and if you're a tourist it's fine and stuff but if you live there you kind of get sick and tired of like always people just coming up when they come up to see you they just do the casino thing because like the, the places to eat that are better are um, the, near Virginia near Virginia Street and stuff like that and nowhere near there um, the casinos are shit I mean the only thing that's nice about them is the fact that you can walk through all of them like hot or really cold like when it's snowing and that leads me to my other point is that when you live somewhere else you don't I, I'd never experienced snow before but like the fact that you when you have to salt your walk you know your walkway and you have to shovel your driveway every morning or in front of your car or leave a blanket and uh or leave a towel in front on your car to quickly take it off to get all the ice and stuff so it's it's very different um kind of experience living out there um in, the, in that terms i mean it got i've never experienced that cold living out in california it got nine degrees out there one morning i, I it was so cold that i woke up but you know most people they uh they're just used to it by then and the other thing is like when you talk to the locals it's pretty interesting. Um, I went to a community college up there too in Truckee Meadows, um, and just hearing from what the people were saying, how some when they were kids, they would like walk and there would be ankle foot of just snow, and and um, it was a lot colder or it was a lot warmer in summer, just the crazy things like that, and other little things like little spots. Um, I know there was a town of Verde, Verde. It was right outside of Reno that I knew somebody told me a story about getting lost in the uh, forest up there. So, I mean, it's th those experiences and those different things is kind of what make, made it worth living up there. You know, but for me, you know, it was very hard to live up there because, you know, it the, the political views were one thing that were just so different. They were very um, conservative with with some Democratic people. Um, the people there say some really strange things, um, especially at TMC. They were very uh, rural and, and very, you know, against the government in some ways, which was okay. Not all of them are. Some people are just, you know, doing the school work grind thing, you know, doing the soccer, doing all sorts of things. And, and uh, you know, that I'm not saying, I'm not trying to make any generalizations, but just from what I experienced from the majority of it was. Um, and other things, you know, there wasn't a lot of things to do other than the casinos. Because, like, in California, you can do, you know, um, you had water parks, you had, you know, places to hike that were really nice. And, um, I don't know, in California here, there's, there's tons of stuff to do all the time. But out in Nevada, it's like, you have a water, you have, there was a water park near my uh, house in Sparks. And there is a, a place that I like to go and called off of Dandelion Boulevard and you just walk over the hill and you kind of just sit there um, you, you sit there and you're so far removed from any people once you get over the hill it's just so nice I think but I mean there wasn't a lot of you know places to hike and stuff 
And I had some pretty bad roommates. I could lead into that point, too. I had some horrible <laughs> roommates. I had this one roommate that literally had a dog that was like this dingo dog. Like half of a ding half part dingo or something. And I was responsible for it all the time, even though it makes no sense just because, like, you know, he worked somewhere else. And th this dog literally chewed through a table leg all the way through. I mean, like, what? How does it chew through a table leg? It's just the craziest thing I think I've ever seen. Um, and so, you know, when you're, when you're on your own, you don't realize how much groceries cost. You don't realize... Uh, how much medical bills cost. I had some uh, medical issues when I was there. I didn't drink enough water, and I was, like, dying one night. Um, so there's that. <laughs> um, one place that I'd actually suggest going to that was very different is the Museum of... Uh, Museum of probably Natural Arts. I don't remember what it is. But it is really, really nice. There's a lot of things about Lake Tahoe. They're very prideful of Lake Tahoe, even though they only own own probably a fifth or a quarter of Lake Tahoe. It's not even half. Um, but nonetheless, it's, it's very pretty. Um, a lot of the, the paintings and pictures and sculptures um, from around there is very interesting. I took an art class um, up there. Um, you see my art, if you see my art profile video, you've known that I've been uh, always interested in drawing, so I took a drawing class there, and uh, it was, it was really eye-opening. It was really interesting and really a fun class, but at the same time, it was just, it was rough, you know, because, you know, you're just putting this new environment and this new cold air atmosphere and all that. And then, of course, you know, I had car troubles up there, too. So then I was without a car for a while, and I had to walk up this hill all the way to my classes um, from, like, the highway, and that was beyond exhausting. Um, by the way, don't ever sign up for an 8 a.m. I, I tried to do that my freshman year, and I died. <laughs> died on the inside, anyways. <laughs> um... But yeah, there's actually a lot of uh, neat places. I'd actually be, I'd actually watch out because there's a lot of, there's a lot of scams out there um, in Reno and like in the gas, I've been, come up to the gas station so many times, people are like, oh yeah, yeah, let me just buy you some gas, let me just, like, but they want gas money, but then they like drive off in like these Mercedes and it's like, well, do you really need that money? Like, and they act hella confident, so I'm, I'm thinking that they don't. Um, another thing that would be something to note worthwhile in, in Reno is there's a place off of Howard Drive. Yeah, either Howard Drive or Howard Parkway or something in Sparks, actually. And it's just this beautiful, beautiful man-made lake. And there's like a weird, they, for some reason they buried a plane out in the lake. Don't know why. Um, 19, 1970 something, 1982. No, 1992 they buried it. Somewhere, see, somewhere around there. Um, and it's just a really nice place to go that isn't, you know, the casinos, you know, because there's also the, um, Reno Aces ballpark that's a really nice place. You can go to any of the, f the football game, uh, UNR is really nice, but I, I never went because when you go to a JC and you're not going to the university, it feels really weird to go to a game. Like, I mean, I could have, it's just, I don't know, it just didn't feel the same as if I went there. I would have definitely went, if I went to the university, I would have went there. Um, the spring is really nice up there. A lot of the things just bloom and stuff. Um, some of the shopping centers aren't too bad in there. Uh, but count, you know, they have a lot of unique, unique breakfast places, but don't even bother going to breakfast if you wake up past nine. Because there is a lot of people in that area that you don't think about. And there's a lot of people that go out to breakfast. And there's, there's a really nice, a lot of nice breakfast places, which is kind of, a cool thing, especially downtown area and stuff. Uh, Victorian Square out in uh, Sparks is really nice. I actually enjoy Sparks uh, way more than Reno. Reno I didn't like at all. I, I got out a lot more in Sparks. I remember climbing this big freaking hill that was right behind my house. Uh, it was really nice. It was just a nice uh, thing to do. And, and I got some pretty nice pictures from up there too. Um, I cannot remember where. I was living out there. I mean, I could do it. I just don't know the exact roads or anything. Um, they, I mean, they have Costco's and stuff. You don't think that either, because like it's like Las Vegas. You don't think people actually live in Las Vegas. You just think casinos, 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 right? You know, and that's just not the case. You know, and you know if you actually get to know the area and stuff, it's real different. But um, it, 
you know, if you, if you, no matter where you live in life, if you don't have, if, if you're just struggling and, and you, you got these bad roommates and it's just not a fit for you, there's no political idealists that you agree with, there's no, you know, there's no, no, no teams to get around, there's no events to go to, you know, it becomes a lot harder to try to live there. Um, but I, I thought of another thing, there's the Reno Balloon Festival that I went to up there, there's the barbecue rib cook-off that's up there so there, there's some things but at the same time yet again i had some bad experiences with it i had this crazy roommate that was like a military dude well he lied about that or, or not i don't know <laughs> i mean the dude seemed off the hinges right you know he was kind of stalkerish you know uh, just weird dude real weird dude um so don't really want to get into that, but, you know, the, the, the kind of roommates that I had up there. And, you know, when you're going to school, it's just not worth it to have to deal with all that and try to do it. I mean, I had a 3.5, but going for a GPA, but still, it's like, ugh, every morning? Every morning dealing with, you know, dealing with snow in the spring and, and the fall? And it snowed in, it almost snowed in April. I mean, that, that's the thing is... I don't know, it's just, it's totally a different environment, you know, if, if you're gonna live up there, then you gotta prepare yourself for a lot of this stuff, you know, bring salt for the snow, uh, you know, um, make sure that, you know, make sure that enjoy the hell out of, like, your August, your September, your, 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 uh, springs, because it changes to hot, 100 degree weather, and freezing weather real quick. You know, so you just gotta enjoy, you know, any concerts that go there, you gotta go. You know, I, I saw two concerts that, you know, Mac Miller and Houndmouth, and, I mean, it, it was so much worthwhile, because you could just go walk right up, up to the stage. Um, the Grand Sierra is actually probably the best casino by far you could check out. Um, but yeah, definitely. If, if you, if you live up there, you might already know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, then, uh, yeah, next time you're up in that area, check some different things out, you know, and, and experience the whole area, but at the same time, you know, that, that's my experience that I had with, uh, living up in Reno, um, it's definitely a different environment, and if you get thrust into it, it's just not gonna work for anybody, um, but that's just my views, and, uh, I don't know if I'll be making another one of these videos, I think every other Friday I'm gonna do a video, um, but till next time. I think I'm just going to keep to doing, um, just doing what I'm doing for now. See ya.